Hello everyone, Chris from OctiTrack here. Just gonna go over another Motive tutorial video. This one I'm gonna be talking about marker sets. So in Motive, if you want to label any type of markers, whether they're like rigid bodies or things on skeletons or they're just standalone markers that are unlike either of the two, you can use marker sets. So I'm gonna go ahead and open the marker set sample. Full screen my Motive here. All right, so you can see these markers in our volume. And if you look, they do, they are a part of something, not quite a rigid body, not really a skeleton. Um, this is actually my hand, which is a perfect example on how you can use marker sets. So with a the hand, these markers are gonna be moving around a lot and we wanna create a marker set so that we can label them and use their data for other purposes. So let me open the project pane and then create a marker set with this button right here. So once I have that created, I can add labels by right clicking and then add a label, you call this index. And you can do it this way or one way that I like to do it is open up Notepad or an Excel spreadsheet and just copy all the text you have. I'm gonna copy with Control C and then paste over here with Control V. And I'll just add a bunch of labels all at once. So now we want to add our labels to our recorded markers. To do that, we're gonna open the labeling pane. And I'm just gonna cover, you know, just kind of a streamline method on using the labeling pane for these marker sets. I'll talk about labeling in another video. So in the labeling pane, we're gonna select our marker set called marker set. We can actually name this something else. Just use a soft click over here. Let's name this hand. Okay, select it over here, hand. And then we're gonna select our marker. Go up to here and click this button. This is a quick label mode. And you can see that the hand colon index, that's our label that's associated. This is what's going to be applied. All right, and uh, one more thing, just make sure you are in 3D mode, 2D mode labels will not work have to be in 3d mode so we're in 3d mode grab our index label switch to quick label mode you can also switch back and forth between quick label and your selected mode with the d so there's a little hot key right there and i don't actually remember which one was my index and which was my pinky finger so you can hold the alt key and then hold the left mouse button down click and drag and it'll scrub along the timeline. And I think this one is actually my index finger. So I'm gonna label index, pinky, index knuckle, and pinky knuckle. And we have all of our markers labeled. Now you can see we have all our markers labeled here. Let me just turn on some marker labels so you can see. But we also have this big red blob over here. And what that means is one of your selections you have disappears in this area. So you can see that this pinky is going to disappear right there. So the pinky disappears right there, but what we can do is we can see that it does reappear right here. And what we're going to do is we're basically just going to relabel this pinky. Well, we're not really relabeling. Motive believes that these are separate trajectories, and you you can see this here. So I have this, let me just select this pinky right here, and go into the editor, and we can see that the trajectory stops right here because the marker disappeared. And then it comes back into view, right there, and this is a, just a separate trajectory. So then we have to basically label these trajectories as the same trajectory, and then the marker label will continue across all the trajectories. And I'll show you what I mean real quick here. So let me close my editor. So I have this unlabeled 110. Go to pinky, make sure I'm in quick label mode, and label it. And then label this one as well. Oh, and there's one more. Make sure I'm pinky and label it. So every time that this marker shows up, it's gonna show up as this pinky. 
And now we have successfully labeled our marker set. Now the only thing we're missing is this little blob of data right here. And if you want to learn how to use uh, edit tools, you can look in the wiki, or I'll probably make a video on how to fill in this data in another video. That's all I have time for today. Thank you guys for watching, and as always, thank you for choosing OptiTrack.